In this video, I'll show you how to display all your on sale items in WooCommerce on one single page. Now, this is useful because it allows your customers to find and filter all your latest discounted item on a single page. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this tutorial, I'll be showing you two different methods on how you can show your on sale item on a single page. So now the first method we'll be using is this method here, using the WooSuite product table plugin. Now the benefit of using this plugin is it allows your customers to quickly find and filter um, by a particular category, tags, custom data, and so on. And they can instantly search for a particular product they want as well. So this is the benefit of using this product table option. And then later on, I'll show you how to use the default um, WooCommerce block option, which has um, more limited features, but still does the job. Okay, so if you wanna create a similar setup on your site, the first step is to head over to WeSuite.com, go ahead and download the WeSuite product table plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. So assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite product table plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the particular plugin you've just downloaded. Okay, once you've done so, we can go ahead and activate this particular product table plugin. So you'd scroll down to where it says product table here, click install, and then once it's installed, just toggle this to on. And now we'll just go ahead and click manage. Okay, so we'll start by creating our first product table. So I've already created one here, but we'll go ahead and create a new one. So I'll click add new. Okay, and then we'll just give this um, a name and it's just for internal purposes. So I'll say um, on sale items. Okay, where it says quick order form page, we'll leave this as um, we'll leave this as default for now. So this will allow you to automatically insert this particular product table onto a page. So we'll just leave it blank because we'll be using the short code to add it onto a page. Okay, so now we can go ahead and customize the column of our product table. So in this example, we've got an image, product name, category, stock, price, and a add to cart button. So here we can add a product name, um, the product image. Um, what else was it? Let's say categories. Um, the stock status, the price, and the add to cart button. You can go ahead and add um, these other options as well, but just for this example, I'm gonna leave it um, to these select few columns. Okay, so now if you wanna rename the column, so for example, where it says name, it would make sense if it says um, product. So that's how we just rename it. So we'd click on the pencil icon and then where it says label, we'll go ahead and change the label. We can also change the width as well. We can add a extra class if you wanna do more advanced custom styling, but we'll just leave everything as default as it is for now. So we'll scroll down where it says the image size. Currently, um, this is in pixels. So currently it's 70 pixel width by 50 pixel height. So I'm just gonna change both of them to 70. So it's a nice square. Um, enable light box, um, you can enable this option. So essentially when a user clicks on the image, it will open the image in a bigger window in a light box tab. So you can enable this option. Um, a lot of these options I'm gonna skip over um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and edit um, the options relevant to this particular tutorial. Okay, so description, we'll leave that as blank. We'll leave all these as blank. And bulk out of cart, we'll skip that. Okay, so here where it says product condition, so we'll click add new rule, and then here we'll go ahead and select the product is on sale, okay, because we want it, we only want to display the product which are currently on sale, okay, and then we're here where it says product filters, we'll go ahead and select based on the columns, and I'm choosing this because um, currently we've got the category showing, so it will automatically show the category as a filter. If you wanted to add more um, advanced filters as well, you can just go ahead and click on this link, and it will show you all the different um, filters in which you can add. So you can filter by um, the product tag, the product category, um, custom data and so on. Okay, so we'll just leave everything else as default for now. So now we'll just go ahead and hit save changes and then we'll navigate back to the main settings area of this product table plugin. And this is the product table in which you just created. So I'm gonna copy this short code. So if we just click on this um, copy icon here, and now the next step is we're going to create a page for displaying all our products which are currently on sale. So I'll just click add new and page. Okay, so we'll give it a name so we can say um, on sale, for example, 
or we can just say sale okay and then you can add this um, particular page to your menu item as well so whenever the user clicks on sale they'll see all the latest products which are currently on sale okay and then i'm just going to go ahead and paste in this short code in which we created earlier and then just hit publish and then we'll have a look okay so now let's view page okay and then here we can see our product table showcasing all our latest um, items which are currently on sale so again as i said the beauty of using our product table plugin is the user can instantly filter and search and find for the product in which they want essentially speeding up um, the time it takes them to actually find a product and check out so this is a much more i'm slightly biased but this is a much more user-friendly experience in my opinion Okay, so now I'll show you how to add, um, how to showcase your items which are on sale using the default um, WooCommerce option. So here we'll just click this plus icon to add a new block. And then I'm just going to search for sale. And then here you can see on sale products. Okay, so when we look to the right here, we've got a few options. So we can customize um, the number of products within a column. Okay, and we can go ahead and enable the product image, product title. In this case, I was actually disabling it. So it's enabled by default, but we can disable it. Okay, and I think that's about it. You can go through the settings if you like. Okay, so in this case, if you wanted to showcase um, items which are on sale by categories, I guess you'd have to create a new block for each category because there isn't an inherent built-in option to go ahead and actually filter those products. Okay, so that's, again, that's the benefit of using the product table plugin. So let's just save this and then we'll have a look at the front end. Okay, so items on sale using the product table plugin, items on sale using um, the Gutenberg block option. Okay, so that's how you dynamically add items which are on sale in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.